filmsimplified.com. Understanding contrast and the pivot point. If you come to primaries down here, you will notice these controls. This is the contrast and this is the pivot point. The same controls are also available in log mode. This is the contrast and this is the pivot. So let's go back to primaries and let's understand what contrast is doing. I'm going to increase the contrast now and notice what will happen to the image and to the scopes. Once we start increasing the contrast, we are pushing the highlights to be brighter and at the same time, we're pushing the shadows to be darker. If we push it too much, we can even split the image. Notice how now we're splitting the highlights and shadows and there's nothing in between. Of course, this is an extreme situation and nobody will do this. So in simple terms, contrast is basically just pushing the highlights to be uh, brighter and the shadows to be darker. That's all what it's doing. The pivot point, however, Let's reset and I'm going to increase the contrast once again. This is a good point here. And now I'm going to change the pivot point. Notice that when we increase the contrast, all the effects, all what happened originated from this point in the middle. So everything above this point was considered to be highlights and everything below this point was considered to be shadows. Also here and here, everything on the right was considered to be highlights and everything below on the left is considered to be shadows. So the contrast effect is originating from this point. However, if we change the pivot, we're effectively moving this point up and down. So let me increase the contrast one more. And now I'm going to change the pivot point. Notice what's happening. The point where the whole effect is originating from is moving upward, thus changing what the effect sees as highlights or shadows. So if we bring it down, we're also changing how the effect is done. So basically we're moving the point down and everything above this point is considered to be highlights and moved up and everything below this point is considered to be shadows and is pushed down. Of course, if I place the point uh, high, the whole image will be considered as shadows and the entire image will be pushed down. And if I place it so low, the entire image will be uh, considered as highlights and it will be pushed up. Simply, this is what contrast does. It basically increases the difference between how bright the highlights are versus how dark the shadows are. And the pivot point is the main point that the effect originates from.